Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. We just passed 200,000 subscribers. Three years ago when we started this channel, we didn't think we'd ever be here. Thank you guys for being a part of that. Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, director of curatorial and educational affairs for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Because of all these new subscribers, we're getting a lot of questions that we've answered in the past. And so people reach out to me all the time and say, hey, you should do a video on this. And I say, oh, we did. We've made 1,200 videos at this point. What did we call that? Yeah, no, if you just start scrolling through the list of videos, I mean, you'll find it, I'm sure. So long story short, this is a remake of a video that we probably did three years ago. And we probably called it something similar to the title of this video. Uh, well, I sure can't remember. Uh, so for those of you who've been watching for all that time, this will seem familiar to you. For the rest of you, enjoy. So, Battleship New Jersey is a fairly monochromatic ship. It's all gray. And then you get down into a space like this. We're at the bottom of fire room number two, one of the engineering main spaces on the Iowa-class battleships. And uh, there is color all over the place. What's the deal with that? Were these guys just more creative? Did uh, they see less officers and were able to do more of their own stuff? Uh, how were they able to get all this color down here? What's the deal with that? The short answer is uh, the color scheme is prescribed, just like everywhere else on the ship. And the idea is that we can take an engineman off any other ship and drop him on this one, and they might not know our old 600-pound steam plant, but because they know the standard color scheme, they can figure out what stuff is. And because it's common across every single ship in the fleet, regardless of the propulsion type or anything else like that, they can figure out what's going on relatively quickly. And when, when Chief comes down here and says, hey, new guy, go turn the, the seawater valve over there. You know that when you're looking at seawater, you're looking for green. So you look in the direction Chief pointed and ah, look at this old green valve. So all the different colors down here mean that there's a different type of fluid that's supposed to go through that pipe. This is very much uh, something that's done on the ship in the 80s. There was always a standard system on USS New Jersey, but it wasn't this really obvious color code system that we have now. During World War II and earlier, it was a system of colored stripes painted on the pipes. Uh, and this is really, really obvious if you watch a movie like The Sand Pebbles. They really lovingly recreate the engine room of uh, the old San Pablo. Recreate isn't the right terminology for that. She's not a real ship. But they, they make a tremendous set uh, for that movie. And uh, they show what the old uh, World War II style color scheme is for all the pipes. And so you can trace fluids around the engine room based on where there are four green stripes or three blue stripes or whatever else the, you might get. You look at black and white pictures, you just see a different number of stripes. But in reality, there was some color there. And uh, it, it, was, it was a lot more to remember, as opposed to in the 80s, it's just the valve itself is a, is a separate color. In some cases, the whole pipe is. But at a minimum, the valve is a separate color that tells you what it is. So. Uh, we've already talked about this. Green is seawater. And seawater is often being brought on board for cooling purposes, uh, especially in an engine room like this. In other spaces, you might see it coming on board because it's heading towards the evaporator or the fire main or something like that. But it might have different uh, colors in that case. So, for example, the fire and flushing main is salt water, seawater, but it's red lines, not green. And that's just the, the water that's going through the fire main. It's the exact same water we use to flush the ship. So fire and flushing is all one color, red. Um, let's say we have refined this seawater through the evaporators and it is now potable drinking water. Well, that's blue. Or in this case, in the fire room, this is all boiler feed water. Uh, let's say that same we have the seawater, gets refined into feed water, the feed water goes into the boilers, and now it's steam. It, it's high pressure steam or auxiliary steam, and it's gonna go into the turbines or go into some other piece of equipment. Well, now we paint that pipe white. 
So that's a steam line. We're in an engine room. So fire water isn't a good thing. If we get a fire in the engine room, it's probably oil that's burning. You spray water on oil, and the oil floats on the water, and that fire just moves from compartment to compartment. It gives you all sorts of other problems. So we don't want to use the fire main, just water, to put out an oil fire. So the engine rooms have striped pipes for AFFF, aqueous film forming foam. This is a mixture of seawater from the uh, fire main and a firefighting foam. And that comes out to special applicators like this one right here in the overhead. So we can follow this pipe. We can trace this candy striped pipe, this Christmas color pipe, uh, straight from where it's spraying here all the way through up three stories and uh, to the space that actually has the tank, the reservoir, and where, where they're mixing this stuff in up off of Broadway. So not only is it useful, because down here I can tell that's a fire uh, foam pipe as opposed to regular water, whatever else the case is, but it helps us trace out where it's coming from. If this is ruptured, now I've got to trace it back and find the next valve in the line. Uh, other pipes that are striped like that would be uh, the halon suppressive gas that's also used for firefighting in the engineering spaces. Uh, that is white and gray as opposed to green and red. Another striped one would be lubricating oil. That's yellow and black. As opposed to regular fuel oil that you're burning in your engines, that's yellow. Uh, so there's some yellow piping behind me there. Um, yellow is much brighter than gold, which is... Uh, sanitary. Your sanitary water gets pumped off of the ship when you're in port onto the honey barge. You know, that's uh, supposed to be funny because it's uh, waste, not honey, but that's why I suspect they start painting it gold. Another type of fuel is aviation gasoline, JP5. So that is different from the fuel that we're burning in the engines. So that gets its own color pipe purple. And if you ever look at the flight deck of an aircraft carrier, even going all the way back to World War II, the guys wear different colored jerseys. And that tells you what their jobs are. So very similar to what's happening down here. Oftentimes the colors down here are duplicated on the flight deck. For example, the grapes, the guys who wear the purple jerseys, are the ones who refuel the aircraft. In some cases it's not perfect. So the guys who wear the red shirts, uh, those are the ordnance handlers. They, they aren't using uh, the fire mains. There are certainly other colors out there besides the ones I've mentioned. Uh, the ones I talked about are the primary ones we see on this ship. There are other ships that use different types of fuels, have different systems, and they have different colors. And if you go to the, the Navy manuals, uh, it'll list what all these colors are. Um, I, I think I've seen it in the engine manuals. So when you've got to study this for, to pass an exam to get promoted, learning all these colors is important. When we bring tours through this space, people often ask, is this really what it's supposed to look like? It looks like Willy Wonka threw up down here. What do you think? Looking around at all these colors, does it still feel like you're on a Navy ship? Does this feel like what an engine room is supposed to look like to you? Or uh, do you think it should be all like that chrome silver color uh, like you see in other movies or all flat white or flat gray? Let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We cannot thank you enough for being one of the 200,000 subscribers who follow our channel and support our museum. You can support us by donating at the link below or by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.